Na pala ufungu mfuileleza musu ma? Ishita yonse? Na fupu sana fupu mwachila nda mchisungu. Na pa, usangu fupu mchisungu pa bata wa efe hava? Ye translation ya la shupa. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, at this point in time, we are just going to go into the word. But before we do that, I, I have a surprise for you, St. Matthews. And the surprise is, we have never heard uh, from the owner sing it and minister to us. So I decided to I decided to invite Toliwe to come and sing. So at this point in time, I invite Toliwe to just sing this song, then I'll go straight into the word. Toliwe Nirenda. All the way from Ndola. Wakupala. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Reverend. Um, allow me to to thank God for this morning. Are you alive? Are you alive? Are you alive? The Bible says, "Let everything that has breath praise the Lord." I know you are not a Pentecostal church, but from where I'm coming from, we make noise. So I want us to give glory to God this morning and celebrate that we are alive, we are living, we are alive, we are breathing, we can talk, we can walk, we can do everything because of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Romans 8 verse 34 says, Who is he that condemns? It is Jesus Christ that died. Much more than that, he was raised. And he seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to declare to you this morning that it is Jesus that died. It is Jesus that died and he has been raised. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. And this morning I hear the blood speaking over your finances, speaking over your marriage, speaking over your family. It is speaking better things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You give me some strings also. Thank you, Jesus. Just rise up to your feet from wherever you are and declare the blood of Jesus this morning. We are not talking about the blood of animals. It is not the blood of man. It is the blood of God. The blood of Jesus which speaks better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Mm. Oh, Lord, Come on, declare. Nah, 
Sasso Muleta Pamweo Andi Yoshamati Po Muluani Alanda Pamo Andi Sasso Muleta Pamweo Sandy, na so so mulo, na so so mulo pa, na so so mulo pa. Oh, yo samati po, e mulani alanda pa lo pa wandi ne, na so so mulo pa. I'm 
continue to speak Hallelujah. the blood of Jesus Christ over everything that concerns us we declare it this morning oh God for we know that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Cain and Abel and today as we gather to listen to your word we know that the blood is breaking every yoke of bondage the blood is speaking on our behalf and fighting battles in the name of Jesus now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto you, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Once again, a big hand for Toliwe. <clears throat> Thank you. You can take your seats. All the way from uh, Ndola, Toliwe, Mirenda. We are so grateful. You are actually surprised. So, um, whenever you have a chance, we need to get our lives back. Amen? I know it's not a command. I'm not giving you a command. Uh, uh, but, I'm encouraging you. There is the good side of it. Please, it has got nothing to do with 6-6. Six six must be a visible mark, not an invisible mark, and six six can never be in your blood. That will be another subject for another day. But ndemi koselesha, mweva temu ikamuli Christ. Okutila, please make sure that you get the vaccines and um, we get our lives back. Hallelujah. Kutinate mabonse fida finetu abato atampo kuisulap. Then, uh, as we have heard, the fundraising is on the 1st of August, and uh, let us continue to prepare. For today, our theme is entitled, Representing Peace. Representing Peace. But the folk Panga Declaration would say we are representatives of peace. But our theme is, Representing Peace. So, Vaneba, Ngabali Mupepi, Ngamuikele Mweka, Representing peace is our theme. Landen ko na vanebo. Ngamuli mweka ikate nipachifuma mutile. Representing peace is our theme. Hallelujah. Ukui mini na ko mute. Mute nde mchive mba. Chukui mini na ko mute nde. Representing peace is our theme. So meaning... We are discussing peace today. And so in this teaching, we will be just discussing peace. And um, a scripture for consideration is Matthew 5, verse 9, as well as uh, Romans 14, 19. Though my principal text is, uh, or my main text is Matthew 5, verse um, Nine. Hallelujah, St. Matthews. Let us look at the meaning of the word represent or to represent. To represent 
is to take the place of someone. That is to re- carry up. Okay, so someone carrying an image, and that's why when someone who's representing you misbehaves, they'll simply say, "If you are Babonse." We have a, f- a female football team in Japan, and they are representing Zambia and Africa. Amen. So a person who stands in or in a place of someone or on does things on behalf of is a representative. When we talk about peace, I was hoping that Maluka Mwala and Bikira Kwako so that those who are writing can be getting it from there. When we talk about peace, peace, according to the Mary Bam uh, dictionary, peace is a state of tranquility. Simply, a state of tranquility or absence of mental stress or anxiety. So if someone is confused, someone is not at peace, someone is not at ease, uh, someone has no peace. But others have looked at peace to say it is the absence of war. Uh, there is a video that has gone viral, and I'm sure maybe some of you have watched and listened to it. And uh, this video is an interview be- uh, between BBC or BBC and uh, and a managing director for Zambi, if I'm not mistaken. And this man was saying, and I quote, "Zambia is the Switzerland of Africa." And he goes on to say, we've never gone to war. There is peace in Zambia. And if you follow uh, politics or geopolitics, you'll discover that Switzerland is a very, very peaceful country. In fact, the most peaceful country in the world. And most of the peace agreements or codes are signed in that country. And so he says, Zambia is the Switzerland of Africa, because we've never gone to war. So meaning that, in other words, we're saying, peace is the absence of war. But church, I want you to know and understand also from this angle. In a biblical, in biblical terms or language, peace is not only the absence of war. Meaning, there can be no war But still, people cannot be at peace. Do you know that in Zambia, we've never gone to war, but there are some people who are not at peace. And probably even us here, there are people who are not at peace. You come and understand when I go further. So in the Bible, peace does not simply mean the absence of 
war. Then, what does it mean in the Bible when we talk about peace? Let me introduce to us, brothers and sisters, the word shalom. I know you are very familiar with this Hebrew word, and people sometimes say bye-bye and say shalom, especially in Gabafu Maku Church. I don't think I'm a late dating of an imbiri valalanda shalom. But I'm a very good person. Kavie na yo en kavie. Amushindi kafuti abwele la mona ena amushindi. Vare shindi kana fe pakbasko abwaila. Atwa di temo ana kanish buf vare ipose rinst. Shilanda papa kala mandela ndava iche. The camp is a popen. So, the word shalom simply means completeness or wholeness. And in this word, when we look at it, this word also implies that there is restitution is involved. But before I go to that part, I want you to understand when they talk about shalom and they say wholeness and completeness, they are saying nothing is lacking. There is no deficiency whatsoever or lack. And that's why they talk about uh, shalom. And even when Jesus says, peace I give you, Jesus was talking about peace in a holistic sense. By holistic, I mean H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C, meaning that socially, one has got peace. Physically, one has got peace. Mentally, one has got peace. Economically, one has got peace. And so when Jesus says, peace I give you, he is talking about the word shalom. And I know there is a symbol that you use to symbolize peace. To myself. <laughs> You are simply declaring that I'm at peace. Nothing is missing. There is no deficiency in me. There is no lack. So when we are talking about the Bible, we are not just looking at uh, the war. We do not have war in Zambia. So we are at peace. No, we must also talk about wholeness. So meaning that at an individual level, it could be at a community level or at national level. And it is in this sense when Jesus is teaching his disciples on the mountain, Jesus says in the Beatitudes, he says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Avoid, I want to avoid the word the children of God in my teaching because the original text says the sons of God. But maybe for us to understand and follow well, I want you to understand that uh, in the setting of Matthew, when Matthew is reporting, Matthew is reporting that they are sitting by the mountain and Jesus is teaching his disciples. Please note, disciples in that case is an inclusive statement to everyone who was there. Okay? It's not just the twelve, but his followers or believers. And so he is teaching them. I know the setting of Luke is different. Luke presents that Jesus was teaching on the plains, if you read. But here, Jesus is teaching and preaching at the mountain. They are seated and he begins to speak to them. And as he is speaking, they are called beatitudes from the Latin word beatus to mean blessings. And so he begins to speak the blessings to them. In themselves, they are character traits. At some point, I taught about character traits and uh, you can make reference to Galatians chapter, chapter 5, verse 19 to 22. Okay? In Bela. And so, in themselves, the Beatitudes are character traits. And so, he is speaking to them but he is not just making these statements as blessings. There's something attached to them. I'll give an example of five, chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see 
God. There is an attachment. Those who are pure in heart, whatever they have put in their hearts, if it is pure, they are blessed. But then, what is it that attach is attached to it? The attachment there is that these people, out of this pure heart, they will be able to see God. And so he continues to talk about a number of characters. And he is expected that as he is speaking to them, these are character traits that these people go out to the world and they'll be able to show to the people the pure heart. They'll be able to show to the people meekness. They'll be able to show to the people the hunger and righteousness for God. Hallelujah. But the text that we have, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers. What are they going to be called? then they shall be called the sons of God. Let us address the issue of peace. He is not talking about people who are at peace. He's not saying blessed are the people who are at peace. But he's saying blessed are the peacemakers. So what is he trying to say? Church, he is simply saying those who risk it all for peace are blessed. So, Jesus is addressing them to go, in other words, out there and go and solve conflicts as well as manage conflicts. The easiest example I can give is an example of the Zambian troops going to some country where there is no peace or there is war and they are going there under the umbrella UN. I'm sure to have a monai. Not sorted to the Bafara to a blue eye. The Abala followed sorted to a blue, the Bafuma Kuna and Chi. Why? And then, in most cases, one thing I've noticed, the Bavuela, we always get a good report, a big hand for our soldiers. Yeah. Most of the times, you know, the Bavuela, there's a good report. And so, those are the people, when they go there, they are going to stand and represent peace. When they go there, they don't go to fight. They are going there to make sure that peace is there or restored wherever they go. And so Jesus says, blessed are the peacemakers. So people who are involved, if you want, you can also take the UN, okay, for our understanding. When you look at the goals and the, 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 the mandate of the UN, they try by all means to restore peace. And so he says, blessed are the peacemakers. And even at an individual level, Hallelujah. Especially when you go there, and you sit them down and you restore peace. Yes, and Shatila Mwalisa Shani. Blessed are the peace makers. For they shall be called the sons of God. And so even when Matthew is reporting, he's in a way challenging the status quo, but also the authorities. Because the Romans obviously were mistreating and treating others. So what indirectly Matthew was reporting was the fact that the authorities must be involved in resolving conflicts so that they can be at peace. People can live at peace. People can be in peace. And the community can be at peace. But he says they shall be called the sons of God. Let us address the issue of sons of God. I've taken some, some of your, 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 your Bibles are saying children of God. But the original text says, for they shall be called the sons of God. So meaning that when they carry this blessing and they go out there, they strive for peace, they'll be called sons of God or children of God. Okay, you may have a problem just like I had a problem. My question was, why should 
they be sons of God because even when people are going out there, it's not only men who restore peace. If anything, in most cases, sometimes but in most cases we are to shift sometimes we are at the forefront they shall be called sons of God the word son should not worry you and it has got nothing to do maybe yes it was a patriarchal society but the word sons in that case simply means those people who have a relationship with God when you read in Exodus Israel is seen as a daughter and we are talking about a nation and the Bible says the daughter but also in some they call Israel as a daughter of Zion so that is just a figure of speech that is used to show those who, are, who have a relationship with God no wonder some versions say they shall be called children of God why? they have a relationship with God are we together church? then how do we represent peace? How do we then represent peace? Number one, we have to be at peace ourselves. Or peace starts with self. That's the easiest. Peace starts with self. Let us say together, peace yes, Peace starts with the self. Mama Timuni Komuni Christ. The principle is you can only give <coughs> what you have. That's the principle. So before you go to resolve other people's issues, or before you go out there to talk about peace, the big question and challenge must be are you? at peace yourself. Has the point come? Are you at peace at yourself? You can only give what you have. So then, if you are going to represent peace, if you are going to be a representative of peace in the community, let peace start with yourself. Umute and they have no peace within themselves, they are confused. No peace. And that's why, church, when you see people, maybe wherever they are, there is confusion. Some people just understand to say, yes, there is this confusion because they have no peace within themselves. And sometimes we make a mistake. It's not possible. Imone. Because that is what they have. That is what they have. And that is what they can offer. So before you talk about solving issues or reconciling people, as we are in the ministry of reconciliation, it has to start with yourself. I'll give an example of Peter. Peter was not at peace. He believed in solving issues using violence. And most of us believe in that. To obey pressure and open pressure, the kingdom of God suffers violence. The violence shall take it by force. And we want to take it to physical violence. No. So remember Peter, he was with Jesus. Peter saw the miracles. Peter saw whatever Jesus was doing. 
but still Peter was still carrying a knife. Why is Samuku Mwikata Yesu? Peter Ewabutu? Ewabutu kila nukusenda na? Knife. No, 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 no. And in fact, Jesus demonstrated there and there. He said, no, we've got a way to solve out this issue. You don't need violence. But look at this Peter. And in the morning, and I'll say this again. I was thinking when I think about Peter to say, if you twice have this church, to the money, to the Teresa, to the station, but to the same page, because obviously I didn't have any Peter to protect. Ni protection. Umuntu alesa kuchechi ni fimabu wangati protection. Ni fi nishufuwa, ni shujutina kuhu. Ewa lawa kwa tinangutinu imwocha agila, kai niba alifika kuhu. Tavasha ana. Umuntu alife. Hala mpela ya wei. Efyo nebo mkwa vila. Iwe, wala chitako efyo. Eta mwaka fi, ya haka sako. No, peace. Because Jesus demonstrated that there is a way to solve this what are you doing yourself? Are you at peace in your home? Do you have peace in your family? Do you have peace at an individual level? Peace starts with yourself. Stop looking at these politicians and say, It starts with us. After all, when you see politicians stand on the platforms and insult, they are politics. That's ah, just the truth. When Mukunu, Kutuaya, I mean, I to go Ah, we are to ascend. Ninsele. And what you can give to us, Ninsele? Ninsele. Ah. Umuntuwa, I mean, Amba tribalism. If you have a. Ni mambala, if you want to. Ni tribalism. are simple. It has got nothing to do with politics. Do you know what it means when it comes to talk about, we talk about politics? You are talking about governor? Governance. So, what is the connection between governance and insults? Ignorance of the highest order, to say the least. So, the woman about to another kuru, the woman about to ah, ah, if you ba, if you ba, ba, the kapusu muikawe, if you ba. So peace starts with self. Before you pray for your community, let peace start with self. And the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. There is a blessing attached because when you propagate peace, you shall be called a son of God or a child of God. Hallelujah. Number two, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. Let us look at number two. Number two, we can represent peace Standing for peace on behalf of peace if we are now at peace with others. First, it was self. Then, you have to strive to be at peace with other, others. When you work at work, you have to have problems with your own self. You have to have to have your own self. So, you have to have your own self. No way. If you are to talk about peace, be at peace with others. Strive. The conditions will not be good. Therefore, Mumbi Kileko, please. Mumbi Kileko, Luca, Romans chapter 14, verse 19. It is talking about us striving to be at peace so that we can edify one another. Church, I want to challenge you today. I know that I'm not going to be social. I'm not going to be social. I'm not Bambi mwa setting ana kwa ti mwa upoku mwa umeu. Sanga bana mai wala setting ana te ba upola kuma umeu nga umo ma setting ana fe pachech. 
Always say, Shaka to watch an Omuntu, can Omuntu give a quarter of water now? Nine. Shaka was in the if a child did that. The cool and the cool and the pepper up in a chap, Chapwa, the Washalo, they were natural or real. Is any Shibasi? But some people are not at peace with others. Bambuku repeated, they don't even know as to why. Baba Patafie. No, you cannot represent peace. You know what? Let's talk about self. We talked about shalom, right? So if there is wholeness in you, you are a free soul, a free spirit, it will be easier to mingle with others. And only then you are going to qualify as a child of God. Forget about the tongues. Forget about the giving. Let us talk about real issues here. And the issue is, are you at peace with your neighbor? No wonder that I would quote, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. But remember, if you do not love yourself, it's not possible to love the neighbor. But you have to strive. Like any neighbor, in the world where we are today, people have got weaknesses. I've got my own weaknesses. I've got my own issues. But some people make a lot of issues about other people's issues. Yes, friendship is not by command, it's by choice, but by the sense in which you can live at peace with them. Are you at peace with others? Nanguya Kosa. Hello Bambi. Chari Shu Panolo Mulala Pamu. We can pamu munganda. Bambi Valala Pabed Bambi Pines. Now, and was in the blanket in the wire. We are all sitting in the room. Oh, the I would be at peace with your wife and your husband. That's why Paul says we're in the means of reconciliation. And when I look at this, it's a question of reconciliation. If you hate forgiveness and reconciliation, you'll never be at peace with others. Here is how it goes you can never reconcile with this one. If you've not forgiven, I cannot reconcile with him if I've not forgiven. It starts with first, no, I forgive you. It does not end there. I take a step further to a weak shan, to a weak shan. And that's when we'll be at peace. Shire landa kiyo mkwa angala kumo. Ndela ndo kutila tukwate fiyo mute ndena haba. Na haba ntukutu mwapo shanya freely. Pambi panonga buyapo service. Tamuwa kota ne shita. Kuya atumulivama serious. I'm a serious Navanan. It's just confusion within yourself. Shandana over there. Kalandanga to Ayakumu. Maybe in the other Tangila. Twice at Londo Vila. Katwish, Tatwish. Ukutina. And, 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 is she able to She wants to Akula Pona. Because one thing I've learned in church, Abantu ku pela bala pela. Abantu ku bomba bala bomba. Abantu ku shana bala shana. Abantu ku pepa bala pela. Bala pela. But in Gangwai Sakuri, you know, to my issues with you. Abantu ba po sako na man. The other time I posted something on my page concerning how people are dying and how we should prepare ourselves. E, Abantu wale tela, it is scary. I will explain more when I go in my last part. But first, let us deal with us being at peace. Wherever you are, strive to be at peace with someone. Not when the fear. Hello, I'm beautiful. I'm saying that one year can't be here. That you're going to sense. Can't it's gonna expire? It's up for a month. For a month, it's very little. Very little fear. Any more? It's not over. But it's not over. My passion. Do what you're doing. Because if you're in a suit, you're black. Okay, but you're not in a quarter suit. So they are punished that they are not people. So now, from Zambia, when people come to Namibia, they say, "Mito, Mito, yo, yo, Mito, take direction. Ah, uh-uh. ah, be at peace. You want to learn to watch, to go create. Can you take a Mito? We want to learn that you are not Be at peace with everyone." My last point, how can we be representatives of peace? We must be at peace with God. 
There's my proposal is that we have to know God and find peace. Amen? You know when Jesus said, peace I give to you, not as the world gives. He was simply proposing that in his father, there is peace. There is peace. So you have to find peace in God. Okay, here is, when I wrote to say, we must prepare ourselves, You're looking at the way people are dying and all that and all that, that's some book monama comments when they're treating ya and face a shiny. And then I looked at them and said, Nifin you feel a If you are at peace with God. Natural and first day is Napape and Alaland, she lay a form with Sakamana. But there's something about death which has made me not to fear. Since Nancy died, may I so rest in peace. But also her death has drawn me closer to God. You know, the birthday, program, え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
Nafio muika la tayari sango kwa kama serious. Anafia kuanza kuwa na face serious. Ni ishi. Ha, echo ishi nsofi mwaneke nafio. Mtu kusanga mukapo. Mwakota kwa mutende, eh? When peace like a river attendeth my way. When sorrows like sea billows roar. Whatever my love has taught me to say it is well. Ndee mwana shonishko ngana afuruka pe aba kashina aposta pa Facebook bonse vanje va it is well whether they even know what it means when it is well i don't know because when you say it is well you are saying we're starting with yourself when the troubles are around you you know you are secured in god it doesn't mean it is well you cannot cry you cry but even in your cry you know that i'm at peace with god You know that really nangushkwete I am lacking in this area but still it is well and if when he calls me to eternal rest I'm still seeing that it is well with my my soul so if you want to represent peace in the world start be at peace let me call to all of you as Zambians okay as we are going to towards the election Okay? Let us be at peace with God. Because seriously ngo aliko to mutende wa kwalesa that you don't want to go pose ibwe. Pamunofi. Imova politician na bakada. Na ifate lupu alumo. Ndefo ku mikoselesha. Uku kwata fie, uku kwata fie, uku kwata fie, kwata nfio mutende na nani? Na lesa because no no mulea ma campaign no fomo akulalanda. Makulala ndefi ya kumakuli le sefi ya kwa techi temu iku. You'll be honest in your campaigns. Do you know that sometimes I look at our politicians and I see desperation, huh? And because they want votes so, balala ya nofo tetibachite. Ino nga naisa po, nga fumia Victoria Falls, nga ileta kumusaka. Walibafi ya mwino yu. Nga naisa po, nga fumia isoka district, kudia ikesa mwusaka. Musakaika ya kuisoka. Na kuzina. Kala pants. Walala, walala ndi bishaba ko. Chimona uri omwa, omwa omwa ko bate. Na temo mukashana. Ero mukashana tare mufwa. E bala ba lumendo bala efrifions. Aya fwala ko ensa pato ya nyu. Takaposele ko na mano takalelolesha. Aya ashima suit. Aya pose ngapa ni moto ka yake. Zip eba leba mbukulana ngakuletera omweshi bachitenge We mwaume umweshi bachitenge Eba leba mbatu ya tuni mbatu ya twale mbogreto I'll cross the oceans for you I'll go and bring you the moon I promise you for you are we <laughs> Ne 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 ko ata ko na kalavle na kalavle ta Imo imo te ma bidira mo kalavle ta da wena na ri ka bidira mo Na ba kule mbela ka eta na ba ka kono ti dori Ata i love you like a cup of tea and tea in ocha Ah <laughs> we. There will be truth in us. We'll be at peace within ourselves. We'll be at peace with others. But even as we are going, people will be saying, "These are the children of God." Let me end it on a high. Child of God, I've always said this without number. You don't need to go out there and start telling people, "I am a Christian." No. Let your fruit speak that you are a Christian. Yo ifo ifo ba mutende. Ah ah. Na wa fika pa yo mutende. U mutende ba mbi abantu ngana mulonga nanga ba fika fie na confusion in shiatam.
kwa watu bantu tumbi kumaliro mulelo osha but twe ukukuru wali kila kona foot twa confusion eno tuno mfuate ne fisha bako tumando wat kafuka kucheche mule papa fe bueno kafuka ni confusion toto kwa watu tumona mbona efisuma twe na mwalimu na kwate tuma monitoring spirit spirit eno there speciality tumona fe fe banega And then you wonder, you know, I'm with that they are negative move me up. I don't know, I'm going to have a car, 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 Africa. May you represent peace in a world which is yearning for peace. May you be a solution to that conflict in your home. Because when we go to the land, we have to go to the land. 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 Bushaba never is there to lunch. Pant mu foku lete fia okumwa leto. Ah, yonji kadi la fia bana. Pant bana bana. Ah ah. Temwa uwa kuperi bana. Omwa unfwene. Children are a gift from God. Allah. Talk time, we have to teach. May the good Lord bless the teaching of His word. It is well, it is well with my soul. Yes, oh, it is.